So we come into today's games in the worst run of form that we've been in all season. So uh, I'm not holding out much hope for today's episode. And welcome back to the Lincoln Loco. We've got two games for you today. Derby and Brighton await us in today's episode. But since we were last here, we've been in the worst run of form we've been in all season. And uh, I'll show you what I mean by that. Last time you were here then, we played against... Uh, we played against... Who we went Brentford and Sheffield United, wasn't it? That's who we did. Uh, straight after that, we played QPR and uh, and snatched a win right at the end of the 95th minute. Obiolari scoring the winner there. Uh, we then played Leicester in the FA Cup. Lost 5-1. As you can see, though, behind my head. You can sort of see the top of it, I suppose. Uh, we played a very weakened lineup. Uh, Lukasic was playing there. A lot of youngsters were playing there and rotation players. So it wasn't really taking it too seriously. After that, though, we beat Charlton 4-0, which was very, very nice to see. Uh, a great way to bounce back from that. And to the Evans picked up an injury there, uh, which wasn't great. So he's been out for a little while now, but comes back today for his first game. And then the poor run of form starts. As you can see, uh, two draws, a loss and two wins is the worst form we've been in all season. Uh, so terrible, terrible stuff there, really. But a uh, 0-0 draw with Sheffield Wednesday wasn't very good. Wasn't happy with the boys there. We then bounce back, though, beat Reading 3-0, which is very, very nice. Uh, Obiolari and new signing Ed Francis getting himself on the score sheet there. We then went to Plymouth, who are bottom of the table at the time, and drew 2 all, which was very, very disappointing. Was not happy with the boys at all with that. Uh, played at home to Portsmouth after that one, 2-0, which was a good result for us. We had to bounce back after drawing to the bottom of the table. But, unfortunately, we succumbed to a 2-0 loss to Newcastle last time out. Only our third league loss of the season uh, since Aston Villa. And, of course, Brighton earlier on in the season. Brighton, the team playing today, one of the only three teams to have beaten us this season. So we want to try and get revenge against them. Now, transfer window has been and gone in January. And it was a bit of an onslaught, basically. I'll tell you why more in a minute. Uh, but a few players have gone. But the first one I'll bring your attention to is Kyle Hawkins is leaving at the end of the season. Uh, a defensive rock for us, basically, this first half of the season. However, he's not cut out for Premier League football, which is what we're going to get in next season by looks of things, unless we really mess things up. So he's moving on to Aston Villa for nearly half a million, uh, rising to three quarters of a million, basically. So a pretty decent move, I think, for a player who's not worth that much money and is coming to the end of his contract at the end of this season. So I'm looking forward to seeing what he does. He should be a decent player uh, for Aston Villa in the Championship, but just wouldn't make that step up for us. Uh, if we go to our transfer history now, if we scroll down, uh, George Segura has gone to Brentford for £75,000, so that's gone now. Uh, you, might be able to, you can't see it behind my head, I don't think, but he's gone for that much money, uh, which brings our total to 2.2 million this season for players sold, which is pretty decent. And then we brought in one player, we brought in Ed Francis from Man City, uh, a central defender who is the best in the squad, the best in the squad at the moment, a uh, leading championship player, potentially to be very good in the Premiership, so hopefully we'll try and sign him over summer or something like that. But he comes in as a replacement I suppose for Hawkins because Hawkins is good but I thought we could just do slightly better in central defence and I guess because Segura is also gone he replaces Segura so Ed Francis comes in as a very very top quality player. Of course our uh, our wonder kid in the making Adrian Lukasic was under a lot of a lot of bids basically we, we were battered uh, in the transfer window daily basically for him and uh, on a few occasions the board accepted bids for me which I had to go to the board and then say can you please reject the offers um because we don't want to sell him, basically. If clubs are offering us £2 million up front for him at 16 years old, imagine if we improve him a little bit. When he's 20 years old, he'll go for, what, 20 30 million. So we've, I'm desperate to keep him just for that, really. I will let him go in the future. Uh, it says not needed there. Oof, that is interesting. He is, he is a hot prospect at the club. I'm not happy with that at all. Um, but as you can see... Lots of clubs interested, so it's going to be a battle to keep hold of him every single transfer window, I think. Uh, and then, of course, as well, not just him, but also, where is he? Where is he? Little old Dale. Uh, we know where... We, I could just sort of potential instead and just find him easy. Dale Stainbury uh, also came under a lot of bids. Uh, not quite as much. The board didn't accept any offers for him, but again, a lot of teams wanted him, which uh, is worrying because I want to keep hold of them. and I don't want to let go of them. However, they should sign uh, actual professional contracts before the end of the season. So I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but yeah. So that's what's happened basically since we were last here. Um, quite a bit. 
So we go into today's game against Derby. Uh, still top of the table. I'll show you the table. I forgot to show you that as well. We're still top. Uh, miraculously top by 12 points at the moment. We're a game in hand over Aston Villa, actually. So we could go 15 points clear at the top if we beat Derby today, uh, which is pretty cool. Derby in 13th, Brighton in 8th. So they should be winning games. The game, you know, we should be winning them. But, I mean, I won't hold out hope after we lost to Newcastle, who were like 15th at the time. In fact, no, they must have been 14th at the time than beat us. So it wasn't great. Right then, this is the lineup for today's game. Haug starts in goal. Uh, a back four of Green. Francis, who uh, comes in, uh, obviously, to place Haukins, uh, Williams and Valerie. Coyle, Byers and De Silva retain their position in the middle. Anthony Evans comes back into his first game since he got injured, which was a while ago now, uh, starting in just behind Schummer and Alore, who are doing pretty well for themselves this season. Right, hopefully then, you guys can bring us back to winning ways. They always seem to perform, uh, the boys do, when you guys are watching. I don't think we've lost a game on camera this season. Um, however, the recent form we've been in, and the loss obviously last game out, doesn't fill me with too much confidence. I think perhaps we're just starting to lose a bit of momentum. I think teams are probably just starting to find us out now, uh, discovering our tactics and knowing what happens, basically. So, that being said, I think just any sort of point today is, is a good result for us uh, as long as we avoid losing that's the main thing really is Coyle plays it to the chummer but gets tackled very early on in this game uh, that was a decent chance for us there from the corner but unfortunately wasn't to be 15 minutes into this game then uh, and it looks like we've got a chance now to Silva comes forward chummer plays a lovely ball through to Alora who gets tackled uh, but brought down in a illegal fashion and the referee gives us a penalty and oh Coyle's taking it why is he taking them we need to change it somehow it doesn't matter though he scored so Perhaps it doesn't need to be changed. That's his fifth of the season. Probably his like fourth from a penalty. I know he scored one on open play at least. Uh, but it Brits has wandered up against Derby, which is pretty good. Uh, overall, we're starting to dominate this game. I know we're playing away from home, but I don't know why it makes a difference, actually. Uh, I, it really doesn't make a difference, does it? But we're, we're dominating so far. They've not had a shot yet, which is pretty good. Uh, and as I say, that, they're coming forward. So watch them equalise now on their first shot of the game. Um, we've got lots of men behind the ball though, so I'm not too worried right now, but that's working it around nicely. If we can just get a tackle in there and get it clear to our strikers, that would be the best thing for it really. But what more? Can't get on the end of it now. Chummer has a chance to come forward for us. Chummer through to Alore. Alore coming forward now. Can he chip the goalkeeper? He doesn't need to. He just puts it past him very, very coolly to make it 2-0 in 20 minutes. So yeah, as things stand, we'll be 15 points clear of Aston Villa and 20 points clear of Middlesbrough with... 12 games to go, something like that, which is absolutely crazy when you think about it now. Derby now with their first real opportunity of the game, and it's put in the back of the net a very, very powerful shot there. Haug couldn't really do much about it there, apparently. I mean, I think he should have done better. He got his hands to it, but unfortunately parried it only into the back of his own net. So the lead is brought back down to one, but, you know, we've got a decent defence. We've got a very good goalkeeper. We've got very good strikers. We should go and score more now, and we shouldn't be conceding any more of this game. Well, relatively quiet first half, but it was decent enough for us to, uh, to take the lead there. We'll go into the second half now, looking to consolidate our lead, perhaps try and grab a few more goals. Uh, all that matters now is the three points. We don't need to think about goal difference. We just need to be getting the points across the line to, uh, to pick up the, the win as soon as possible, to win the league as soon as possible. Last season, I think the winner only got like 86 points, something like that. We'll double check the league uh, table in a minute uh, for that, but... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we, we must be very, very close to winning the league by now uh, and guaranteeing playoff positions, things like that. I think we'll make some changes early on in this game. We're going to leave Evans on because it's his first game back. He needs to get the match sharpness up there. Uh, Fletch is going to come on for Chummer, though. And do we make a change at the back? I reckon we could be bringing Hawkins on here because I don't think the defence has been too solid. And so I want to bring him on as, um, as a defensive centre-back. On, on defend and just see if that helps a little bit shore things up at the back because we were very very solid with him and Roshan Williams and I've brought Francis in thinking he's going to be better but I don't know if it's actually had that great of an impact perhaps the partnership that those two had was, was better than Ed Francis first highlight of the second half now this one actually 73 minutes into the game Jan Valery puts a ball into the middle um Apparently he's aimed for the far post. I don't think he was trying to shoot there or not. But now Johnson's got a chance to clear it. Uh, but it comes straight back to us though. As Anthony Evans plays it to Alari. If we can get a nice ball through to one of our men. We've got so much room there. But we've just wasted possession unfortunately for us. And now Derby trying to build an attack of themselves. If they score a goal now. I'm going to be really, really cross with the boys. Because we should have a lot better with that attack. They've come forward. Joe, oh, they've gone and scored it. They have actually gone and scored it. I mean, that is not what is the, the plan is right now. Uh, we'll go overload 
for these last 15 minutes or so, but look at these stats. We should be home and dry by now with, with a lot more goals than this. We've been very, very wasteful with our shots, and quite frankly, I'm not very happy with the boys. I'm also not very happy because, as you can tell, um, I've got a sore throat and I'm very bunged up with a cold. So things aren't going well personally and, and with the team, although Fletcher's just been put through wonderfully. And that is one of the goals of the season for me. That was a lovely move forward and the movement from Fletcher as well to to get on the end of that and to just show open the door for it to even happen is, is fantastic. So fair play there, boys. David Green just picks up a knock there, so we'll take him off. Uh, for these last few minutes, Woodyard, get yourself on the pitch, mate. You deserve a little run out every now and again. Um, oh, I should probably take us off. Overload puts back onto control. I thought it was going to be a highlight there, but there wasn't. So, no need to panic there. The clock ticks itself down. The highlight still to go. Probably the last one now. Fletcher puts it in towards Woodyard, but he can't get to it. Coyle now back to Woodyard, who finally gets the ball. Evans has put forward, and De Silva's now got a chance to whip it into Fletcher, who gets himself tackled there. I thought there would have been a shout for a penalty, but there's not. And now here come Derby County. Are they going to score a goal? Hawkins, guess you get it clear, mate. Just get this ball clear. That's all I'm asking of you now. Huddlestone on the ball. Gets himself tackled. Now Fletcher's got a chance to come forward. If he can just get the cross onto the head of Alore. He does and Alore puts it over the bar. But a lovely little work move there for us. And I think that is going to be time. Full time here then. Lincoln 3, Derby 2. We've got the three points that we needed. Albeit, we got away with that today. Uh, Fletcher looks demotivated. But I don't care. Everyone else seems a bit motivated by that. But we didn't play too well that game. It does keep us, though, top of the table by 15 points. Uh, we'll look at the table now. Uh, let's see what's going on here. What happened last season? So the winner last season got 88 points. Season before, 84 points. Uh, 98 points from Hull that season. 89 from Sunderland the season before. So we're on the verge, basically. Um, 84 points has been the minimum in recent years. So we've got 80 points. And there's 12 games. 30, 13 games left, actually, isn't there? 13. So, I mean... I reckon we're going to do it, aren't we? As things stand, we're, we're well on the way to, to getting the points, like over 100 points as well. What the points record is, uh, records 106 is Reading. Uh, they've got the most points, 106, which is pretty cool. Incredibly, fewest draws in a season, zero, Lincoln. 1894-95 season. That was a, an awful long time ago. Lincoln's highest ever finish in any football competition, actually. If we look at uh, competitions, do we have to go to like championship the highest ever finish was fifth in the championship in 190102 i know that for a fact and it, it's here obviously that is the highest we've ever ever finished we've never been in anything else higher than that so um over 100 years of hurt basically but this season looks like we're going to get our highest finish ever in some actual real life news uh i'm recording this whatever day it is i'm recording it but uh, lee frecklington has just been unveiled as Lincoln City's first uh, permanent signing of the January transfer window, which which is pretty good. He's a 32-year-old midfielder, but started his career at Lincoln, has come from Rotherham, where he was a very, very key player. So uh, if you're watching this and you're a Lincoln fan, let me know what you think down below. But uh, if you're a Rotherham fan as well, let me know what you think, because I feel like you've lost a key man there. And uh, again, I'm not quite sure how we've, we've managed to get him, but somehow we've got him. Right, well, I think we're going to keep the starting lineup uh, the exact same as last time out. I don't think there's much point in changing it. I don't think we can really get a better starting eleven. Perhaps Hawkins for Francis, but we've got him on loan now, and he's the best player in the defence, so I feel like he should be starting. So we're going to leave it like it is for now, and uh, hopefully get revenge over Brighton. And so kickoff is upon us, Brighton. In the yellow, we're in the red though, of course, because we are the home side. I thought we were playing away today, but apparently not. Which makes all things a little bit better, actually, there. Um, you've just seen a player on the ball there. Hivit, I think he is called for, for Brighton as Alore nearly, nearly scores. Makes it 1-0 very early on. Uh, but he's a player that we try to sign. Uh, it's this guy here. I'll show I'll, if I can click on him. We tried to sign him on loan from Arsenal. However, he decided to go to Brighton instead. But he would have been a superb player to have uh, in the midfield, complementing the guys we've got there and offering some more rotation options. Uh, it would have meant some of the players that we've got in midfield, like Woodyard, no, not Woodyard at all, uh, Longstaff would have gone on loan, for example. Would have freed up a little bit of wage space for us and things like that, saved a little bit of money. So it would have been good if we got him. However, we went to Brighton instead, which I think is a mistake because Brighton aren't even the playoffs and we are miles ahead at the top of the leagues. Early on in this game though, we're asserting our dominance. Uh, obviously we won at O'Brighton after last time. It was a shock. I say, I say a shock actually. It's not really. It's a shock that we're top of the league by this far. It's not a shock that they beat us earlier on the season. 
but if you consider the context of how well we've done this season, I guess it probably was a bit of a shock. If we look at the table, though, they need this win. They need to get a win today to keep themselves in that hunt for uh, playoffs, basically. Um, a win today isn't exactly detrimental to us or anything like that. We're at the top of the table by quite a way, so we, we can afford losses and things like that. We can, we can afford to slip up a little bit, but we're aiming for 100 points now, and that is not something uh, that we want to be slipping up on. We want to get 100 points as quickly as possible to make sure we do it, and uh, and then try and get as close to the Reading's record as possible. But half-time here, nil nil. It's gone very, very quickly that first half, and I mean, basically nothing happened, did it? I reckon if we want to try and get something out of this game, we're going to have to go attacking. I'm very disappointed to see that we only had three shots on target from the ten shots. Once again, like last game, being very, very wasteful in front of goal. I'm not a huge fan of that. We need to sort that out. Come on, Chummer. Come on, Alora. Get yourselves together. This is not what you're meant to be doing. I mean, this is literally going to be like a highlight of this game, basically. There was one right at the start, I think. And that, that's it. There's literally been nothing going on. We'll make some changes. We'll take Laurie off this time, bring Fletcher on, see if that makes any difference. I mean... I mean, I'm not quite sure what else I could do to, to change this game, if anything. I don't think there's a lot I can do. We'll bring Roberts on for Valerie, because Roberts barely ever gets a game now. So let's bring him on. Let's see what he can do, see if he can change anything. Bombing up and down those wings. He can put a good delivery into the box, so I, I trust him. Let's just see if he actually delivers, though. First highlight of the second half now, starting very defensively for Brighton. Are they going to build from the back, or are we going to make them force an error as they're coming forward now? Paulinho on the ball for them. Plays it forward now. Dallas can can just... They're sort of breaking in a triangle formation right now, which is not what I like to see. I'd rather see us get the tackles in, but Haug there to make a very, very solid save. And uh, fair play. He's made it for his mistake in the last game, palming it into his own net. However, we've now got the opportunity now. Roberts on the ball. Can he get a ball through to someone? Evans, oh, he loses possession now. Brighton can come forward with it. That was a real chance for us. And now we've just lost possession and they're coming forward with it once again. Uh, G Dong won. Uh, I presume an Asian player there coming forward with the ball but it's got, worked its way all the way across to Gross and back to Dallas Dallas seems to be a bit of a key man for them at the moment uh, I think they've changed formation slightly I think they've brought wingers on and things like that but the ball's been put in it's cleared by Roshan Williams as far as Fletcher and now Fletcher can put a great ball through to Chummer if Chummer can finish this oh, the near post he, he couldn't quite finish it apparently he's an absolute sitter but look at that, those angles. I don't think it was an absolute sitter. And Roshan Williams uh, can't get down. It's another corner for us now from that corner. Once again, swinging in by Evans. Put into the middle. Coyle. I mean, that is how is that not a penalty, basically? How is that not a penalty? I know we're looking at little 2D dots on a screen. But from my perspective on the touchline, because I'm also seeing this as if it was a real game. As they, Oh, my goodness. Can you see how close they came there? Jesus Christ, that was close. Either way, it didn't result in a goal for anyone, that little highlight. But there's another one now. Our free kick didn't really work for us. But now we've got another chance to come forward. Ed Francis puts it forward towards Fletcher. Although the clearance is poor and Fletcher does collect the ball now. If we can just work it into the box nicely now. Chummer with so much room. Elm to Evans. And Evans in the 80th minute makes it 1-0 to Lincoln. An absolutely lovely work goal there. I think we deserve that. We've worked really hard all game. The stats show it as well that we've been the side on top. And... Uh, Thankfully, we've now got the goal and the three points look like they're coming home with us to Lincoln tonight. The game then has got 10 seconds left in it and Santon tries to put a, a desperate ball forward there but it's not come to anything and now we've got a chance to come forward. If we can grab a second goal right before half-time, uh, half-time, full-time, that would be great. We haven't though, it doesn't matter, we've picked up the three points and we've got back to winning ways this episode. Passionately, let's tell the boys, a nice victory, well done. That was a really, really good result but actually. And now... We are even closer to uh, to winning the league. So we've not been guaranteed playoffs or anything yet. But with 12 games to go, it, it's got to be around the corner pretty soon. So I think what I'm going to do is next time out, I'm going to, before next time rather, I'm going to work out how many games we've got until mathematically we win the league, for example. Or, you know, when, when it could possibly happen. If that is around these sort of games here we'll do that episode next for example uh if it's not looking like it's going to be until towards the end i think we'll probably do a scenario where we play the aston miller game and i'll show you highlights in these few games and then do the brentford game at the end for example so if that all sounds fair to you i think that is that is probably what we're going to do so thank you very much for watching today's video if you've enjoyed it please do uh please do drop a lovely like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're new around here for more lincoln loco action of course 
the various other content I put out there, lots of experiments, and that's about it really, actually, Lincoln and experiments at the moment. But if you enjoy that, make sure you do subscribe. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.